I, I put out a, a Christmas song last year with Ariel Pink called uh, Rudolph's Laptop. It was a Christmas song about Hunter Biden's laptop. <laughs> and the music press that covered it, it was so embarrassing for them. I mean, I, like, and, and hilarious. So for example, Consequence, I think it's Consequence of the Sound, did an article saying the, uh, I, I won't get the exact uh, line, but it was something like the fictitious uh, story about Hunter Biden's laptop, is, or this is as fictitious as the the story about Hunter Biden's laptop. I mean, like, this is the bubble they live in. They like they. Even, but they think it's not even a real story. They don't even think Hunter Biden's laptop's real. They don't think he has a laptop. Yeah, it's just I don't know loss. what their their thing is, but that's like how far off, and then they're, you know, happy to bandy words around like fascist and 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 all of this, and and. Um, it's just it just shows how completely deranged they are that they that they write this stuff and and, and even the New York Times concedes now that Hunter Biden's laptops that's a real and significant story. <laughs> Biden's uh, Hunter Biden's about to be he's just been indicted he's going to be could end up in prison for like eighteen years. Do you get an apology? Of course, I'm not going to get an apology from them. Um, I think it just sort of proves a point. Like everyone who's paying attention sees what's going on and sees how. I mean, the, the music press, there are some nice people in music mm -hmm. journalism so and some, uh, good, some good people and some good individuals. But I think it seems to be overpopulated by uh, music lovers who are, who are resentful that they themselves weren't musicians. 100%. 100%. So, so they, they don't like successful people um, unless the successful people have the right background or tick the right boxes. And... Um, and use the the little power they have to pull them down instead of lifting them up, um, or just ignoring. There's a great there's a great uh, English singer called Beads on Toast, folk singer, and he had this great saying: "Is like celebrate or ignore." I think he has one of his albums was celebrate or ignore, which is a great attitude to have. If you don't like a piece of art, don't you don't have to shit on it. Please, someone's worked really hard on it. Just ignore it. <laughs> do we need criticism though? Do we need literary criticism? Do we need movie crit critics? I use Rotten Tomatoes and mm. I see, okay, this is 40%. I'm probably not going to enjoy it. Maybe that's unfair. Do we need people to, to sort of pan things and criticize? Possibly, but I mean, and another interesting uh, thing that happened this year was the way that Oliver Anthony was treated. And they, that? Oliver Anthony is an American singer uh, from the Appalachian Mountains somewhere, big red beard. And in the space of three days, he recorded a song, did a video of this called Rich Man, Rich Man North of Richmond. And over two or three days, it just skyrocketed. He went from an absolute unheard of nobody to top of the charts. And not just the iTunes charts, which you can get up with like 10,000 iTunes downloads, the billboard charts. He went to the top and then all the rest of his songs as well uh, filled up the charts it was an unbelievable story and the music press just came after him because they coded it as right wing and so they were like they just they, here we have a working class boy oh, who's a pure talent remarkable like this is the spirit of Guthrie back you, you got to watch this this video it's completely compelling and wow. they just completely shot on him. Another thing that, and Rolling Stone were the, uh, I don't know what's happened to that rag, it's, it's a disgrace. <laughs> they used to be the, the forefront of the counterculture. Now they're just, uh, mm. just total um, embarrassment. But the, the, they also went after Sound of Freedom and they said it was a on film. Here's a film expo like telling the story of a man uh, discovering and uncovering pedo rings. This should be the like the if it had the correct actors uh, or the correct director and producers, this should would be the number one film in Hollywood. It would win all the awards. Instead, because they decided it was right wing, they they've just come after the film, called it on conspiracy. Like you, if you you got to watch this film. I was in floods of tears after yeah. I watched it in a packed uh, uh, cinema. Um, and um, in, in the States and after the whole room, just like, uh, you know, everyone was sobbing at the end. Yeah, up and, like and my friend Sean Atwood said that he, he loved it. Yeah. <clears throat> he was crying his eyes out. The but then thing. look at the press that mm. covers that film after. They just, they have to tear it down. And uh, I mean, one might then think, what motivations do they have to tear it down? Is it because For, maybe yeah. they're complicit? Or, but that's where the conspiracy theories come sure. up. Sure. I'm not going to jump there yet. <laughs> there, there are also beliefs, I think, that the guy that it's based on 
that he was also getting involved in dodgy things? Well, they're coming after him and um, they've been hurling accusations at him. And uh, I, I've i even, I don't know if I misread or read that he thinks the CIA are going to come after him. Uh, I, I just, if you watch this film and you mm. see the way they're coming after it, him and, and it's such an important film it's really doing god's work and this guy's doing god's work you can't help but think nah there's like evil here it's like people are trying to t there's other motivations here it just just doesn't add up mm, interesting there, there has been a, there's there's a thing on the right and left that people don't speak about enough i think where the left are seen to be too lenient about too many things and it does it, i mean it's just proved provable that it does lead to PDF files situations or them being enabled. It's happened loads of times. I talk about one in Berlin, one issue, uh, for example, the Green Party in the 80s and the Kentler experiment, whereby they had too many um, PDF files and too many young homeless boys. And so they put the young homeless boys to live with the PDF files, thinking like as foster homes, thinking that was a good idea. That's what happens in left-wing extremism. The Green Party in Ireland with King Cora Boys Home and Lord uh, Mountbatten, Dickie Mountbatten, the royal, uh, I think he's Charles's great uncle or, or uncle, was just free reign to go there. Green Party was letting it happen. So there is a big history of the left, the far left, I should say. I don't want to, I'm not, ta you know, tiring all leftists with this, but the far left and allowing things to such an extent that that thrives. Because of that, the right make it among their first things to attack because we are tribal and we have a go at each other. And but it's, it's the worst thing in the world. So they rightly attack it. You know, of course, it's a bad thing, PDF files and all this stuff going on. Um, that's where the culture war thing's coming in and there's a tribal aspect. So what they're really seeing when they see that film is themselves, the left being attacked, I think. I, I'm not excusing it. I'm saying where it comes from. It's very hard for me to put myself in their shoes. If I mean, if being against as to use your word, PDF files, and being against minor attracted persons <laughs> is makes me right wing, then I'm right. I'm very happy to be right wing. <laughs> yeah. And no, if you're it. defensive about how PDF files are being treated, maybe, maybe you should put down your phone and just have a little think for a minute, sit in the corner and reassess where you've come to with your, your ideology. I know. But the, I think they're defensive, not of the actual thing happening, they're defensive that they are often accused of allowing it to happen. And I think that's where they're getting their backs up and they're going, it's not happening as much as you think and we're not to blame. I, I, don't, I don't think they're right. I think that's where that urge to bring down anybody who wants yeah, to. Yeah, okay, talk. well then that's a foolish thing to do because yeah. instead yeah. they should lean lean in and identify those things and make it part of, make it part of their thing their yeah. tribe, so 100%. to speak, to be against that stuff. Hundred percent. I think that's instead of right. being defensive, because if you're defensive on, on that, it's yeah. just optics aren't great. No, and that's one of the last things, last bastions of like unapproachable taboos at the moment. Um, the PDF file situation. I mean, the fact that I have to say that on YouTube is ridiculous. And on the left, you have too many people saying, "Oh, let's not talk about it." I'm triggered. And on the right, you have people saying, "Just kill them all." And there's a lot of there's not enough, there's not enough discussion about what to actually do about them. And I think that's that's one of the things that I think needs to be spoken about hmm. by both sides, by everyone, really? because a lot of kids get abused. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know. You should do some more uh, interviews on, on the issue. Yeah, I, I went to Germany and, and um, um, learned German and hung around with, with, I met loads of these people, the non-offending of these people and I to try and understand them. And a lot of them are horrible, unfortunately. Right. So it, it, it wasn't great. But what can you do?